Many years ago I uh, started my own uh, lawn care business and I didn't really know the products that it could be used and uh, back then there were only few uh, um, organic products that you could use but um, fortunately you can find basically anything nowadays so um, I will show you uh, today and in the next few weeks when to use products, uh, how to use them uh, everything from uh, soil testing to um, compost tea. Uh, the first thing I always do is to take a soil sample uh, because without it I have no idea how much product I'm going to be using for the entire season. Uh, so what I do is I take a, a sample uh, and then I send it to, uh, to a lab which in my case most of the times I send it to University of Massachusetts uh, the UMass soil test lab and uh, within just a couple of weeks I get the results and with that I know exactly how much of anything I'm going to be using on, on my yard. I always use a soil probe but uh, you can use a shovel, trowel and the way to do it is you go down in the soil right underneath the root system of the plants so you go down like around three inches and then you take some of the soil Try to remove all the small rocks, uh, twigs, anything that it was it was leaving, like uh, you know grass clippings, things like that. Um, and what you do is you will go around the yard. So you go to five or six different uh, spots on your yard. So if it's your front yard, uh, you can take a few samples from there, and then you can uh, mix them in one bag. I usually um, use those uh, Ziploc bags. Um, and then the end result is you want to get like one cup of soil uh, per test. So for example if you're taking a sample from the front yard uh, go again to like you know five, six, seven different uh, uh, spots, go down the soil, get some of that soil, mix it in the bag and, and close it. And uh, then if you're gonna go in the backyard so you can do the same thing or if you have a vegetable garden um, if your tree is not doing well, um, then you can just go around the around the tree, get some some uh, samples from there, and uh, do the same process. The way it works uh, with the soil sample is uh, uh, the lab usually will take the bag, they will weigh it, um, and they will burn it, and then uh, the difference in uh, in uh, weight will be the organic matter content. So it was always good to get a sample that is dry so you can um, put all the, uh, the soil in the bag and just leave it by the window for a couple of days just to remove all the excess moisture and that will help out tremendously with the, um, with the amount of organic matter that you may have in uh, the soil. So please share this video, uh, subscribe to my channel like it down there and please uh, send me a few comments. Have a good day!